Welcome back YouTube. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to continue to carve on this little Pokemon carving that I started sometime last week, I believe it was. I have a ton of projects that I am so excited to dive into, but I need to finish my old projects before I can get started with the new ones. I think last time I talked a little bit about wanting to try to power carve. Unfortunately, I still don't have my Dremel back yet, but I will be getting that tomorrow. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and dive right in and see what you guys have been creating over on Reddit. A rose cup that I carved for Mother's Day. Somebody's on the ball, really. Okay, so we have this nice juice tumbler, I would call it, that someone has burnt a rose into the side of it. The uh, cup looks lovely. What do I think about this nice little cup? I... Do people drink out of wooden cups? Is that a weird question to ask? I've never done it before. I've never seen anyone do it before. I feel like that's a rude question. Rude. I like it. I think it's a, a pleasant little cup. Um, I know that it wouldn't be a gift that my mother would appreciate for Mother's Day. I think that in my mother's opinion, the best gift for Mother's Day would be some new clothes. My latest Reddit commission, a wolf head for our coaches football players to lug around. So we have some chainsaw carving here. I feel like I'm being very judgmental here. Okay, so the problem that I see with this is if you take a look at this dog's ear, like the outline, the, the, the basic outline of the head is great, but there's just not much thought that went into the bone structure, the muscle structure of the actual animal's head. And um, I think it's lacking in that. I know that detail might be kind of hard to pick up with a chainsaw. And, you know, maybe it was just a quick, you know, quick turnover for this person. Get it done. Get it out. Nothing too fancy. Maybe they were gonna destroy it, you know. Fish! Ooh! This looks like a beta fish. I like the uh, intricate details. This looks very small, like on a small scale. I think it's pretty cute though. I like fish. Yeah, um, some of the comments on this post suggest that this fish is actually extremely small. I'm not sure what the little piece of like paper underneath it, if that's supposed to help scale it. You can kind of see the person's thumb in the picture, which is equivalent to almost the size of the the fish head itself so very small detail so i would say this person has some talent and keep carving okay so this person is working on carving a flower for easter i would have to call this a relief carving you've heard me say that before what do I think about this? I think this flower is great. Um, there's a lot of dimension to it. Could there be even more dimension? I'm looking at the knife beside the carving and I think that maybe if they had the proper tools they totally could get a little bit more detail. 
and the flower petals um some of the flower petals look a little puffy uh maybe uh, scoop them out a little bit and give them some life and wave to it but other than that this person's right on track to having a great piece of art blackfish what's this blackfish this is very interesting very unique it's a nice little piece of artwork. Quite interesting. My first carving. These are always interesting because you're never, you never know what you're going to see. So it looks like this is a head mounted on the wall. It's, it's pretty good. A lot of people are scared to do anything with the eyes. This person looks like they dug right in gouged out that eye socket as far as an actual eyeball I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like that or not it looks like the carver used old knives I shouldn't say it looked that he did use old knives so as far as the tools that he used to make this he did a fantastic job, so good job, Carver. Whittle and wood burning. This is an interesting piece. I think it looks pretty great. Here's something. This title is Check Out My Wizard. I think it's fabulous. What? Okay, so the person who submitted this didn't even carve it. They, they go on to say in the comments that they picked it up from a pawn shop and paid a hundred bucks for it. It's about two feet tall. A funny post. I thought this was a place for people to share their own artwork, not some place to show their pawn shop finds. But it was a great piece to share anyway. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Um, I have obviously stabbed myself in the forehead plenty of times already. I will see you on the flip side.
joining me today in our little carving session. I hope you have enjoyed today's Reddit submissions. Um, I find them quite interesting, especially the guy who purchased his wood carving from a pawn store for a hundred dollars. That just blows my mind. Do you think my snowman, how much would you pay for my snowman? Don't answer that. Alright, anyway, have a great evening guys.